Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Again, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Reed Patridge. I'm the owner of Work Turbo, and today we're going to talk about intercoolers, specifically intercooler pressure drop. What is pressure drop, you ask? Simple. Take the boost pressure that your turbo is putting out, you measure it. You then take the boost pressure that your intake manifold is seeing, you measure it. Take those two, the difference between it is the pressure drop. So let's just hypothetically say you're seeing 20 pounds of boost in your intake manifold, and you got 25 pounds of boost coming out of the compressor side of the turbo, you have five pounds of pressure drop across the center cooler core. What does that mean? Um, simply, it means the turbocharger is having to work harder to push air through the intercooler to get it into the engine. Since the turbo is having to work harder, it's going to be less efficient both on the compressor side, it's going to create heat, and on the exhaust side because the turbine wheel is having to turn the compressor so it's going to create exhaust back pressure. So if you're experiencing low power output for how much boost you're seeing in the engine, if you're seeing high intake air temperatures, or if you're seeing you know, what you think is high exhaust drive pressure, then you really might want to look at your flow across your intercooler core. Super easy to do. We'll go over three ways. First way is for my guys with data acquisition and standalone engine management, just simply add another pressure uh, sensor channel to your compressor cover. Um, tie it right in with the, uh, the feed to your wastegate. That will give you pressure at the turbocharger. Your MAP sensor is already giving you intake manifold pressure. So you can set that up simple enough look at the two in the graph overlay, see the difference. For my budget conscious guys that don't have data acquisition, you can do it two ways. You can go get another boost gauge, preferably the same brand, <laughs> and uh, so you get consistency between the two, and just temporarily install it or permanently install it in the car and just monitor it compared to the boost gauge that's in the intake manifold. If you're on a real budget, like I am, <laughs> just uh, Make a couple of pulls with your car on the dyno, look at your boost gauge, say, okay, every time it's hitting 20 pounds of boost, right on 20. Just simply move your reference point from the intake manifold to the compressor cover, tee it in with your uh, wastegate hose, and make another dyno pull and compare what you see. How much pressure drop is bad? Obviously, any pressure drop is bad, but it's inevitable and unavoidable you're going to have pressure drop through a system. You want that to be as low as possible. It's going to be another topic we're going to talk about in the future on intercooler design, uh, on air to air units, liquid air units, vertical flow, horizontal flow, what you need to look for. I hope you took something away from this video that was productive. So if you're having some issues and you never check pressure drop across your core, definitely do it. You might be surprised what you find. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. This makes the world go round. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. <clears throat>